heard the news about Kevin Ali potentially like interviewing as mm-hmm. the Pistons head coach. I don't think he's an actual candidate. I mean, good for him to actually get the interview. That's cool. But there was a lot of negativity of Pistons fans. And I think it's just college coaches have not done very well when they make the jump. I mean, the most recent guy, I believe we have is John Beeline. And I don't even think he made it through his first season in Cleveland, right? Like, yeah, he, he didn't. Yeah. Um, so the, your question, why do I – I don't think college coach. No, well, Pistons fans, why do you think there's so much uh, negativity around Kevin Ali, the Kevin Ali news? Well, if you look at Kevin Ali, um, he actually doesn't coach in the overtime elite league at all. He's not actually a head coach. Oh, okay. So I went on their website and I was just like, uh, let me do some research on Kevin Ali. Cause I know he did win a national championship at UConn. I know he was a longtime NBA player. Um, Looked on overtime a lady's more of a development coach for all the teams down there. So he's more of just a, a development coach down there. Um, like I said, won a national championship with UConn. You can't take that away from him. That's a hell of an accomplishment. But I, I think why so many Pistons fans, uh, when they heard the news and they were negative with Kevin Alley, is cool, he's a candidate. Cool, Troy's probably doing him a favor, you know, get him in the get his name um out there but with all the head coaches available out there Kevin Alley probably shouldn't even have gotten an interview okay it, it's not to say that he's not a good coach because maybe he is I mean we, we've seen college coaches like Brad Stevens even Billy Donovan to an extent have some success coming from you know college to the NBA but I think Pistons fans, you know, they, they see the Yudokas, they see the Mark Jacksons, they see the Chris Quinns, the Charles Lees. Like, there's so many Pistons fans out there that they, they see Kevin Alley and they're like, you know what, if, if Troy hires him, that's his ticket out of town. So so then you're saying that the negativity is more around because there are better candidates than Kevin Alley. And because and, I think it's more about college coaches not doing fi- like good in the NBA. Like, I mean, I mean, outside of Brad Stevens, he's probably. Probably the best one. Billy Donovan had some success, but, you know, I mean, he was coaching some pretty good players, you know. But anyways, that's not what it's all about. So you're saying it's more about the candidates that are available for the head coaching versus just Kevin Ollie being a former college coach. Yeah, it's not to say that he's not he couldn't be a candidate. I, I just think Pistons fans, when they look at it, they, they see the names that are available out there. And not to say he couldn't coach or he wouldn't be a good fit. It's just there's better candidates available. It has nothing to do with him as a person or a coach, I think. Okay, because I was just more convinced. That makes more sense, though, because there are some good candidates that are coming in to be interviewed by the Detroit Pistons. It's just that I just thought Pistons fans were just being so negative around the news of Kevin Ali because he is a former college coach, and and college coaches have not done well. I mean, like I said, John Beeline, he left a terrible taste in most people's mouths as a head coach for the Cavaliers. Like, you look at that, and you're like, ooh, I want this guy to be here for a few years. Not And the last college coach couldn't even make it through a full season. So, but it makes more sense that it's candidates. Yeah, like, I, I, don't, I don't even think that uh, he would be a bad fit on an NBA team, but I, I think it would be more of an assistant role. Okay. Um, kind, kind of earn your stripes, you know? Yeah, Even though know, he, he, he was an NBA player, you know, I, I remember him on the 76ers. Um, and I, I think he retired with OKC in 2009, if I do remember correctly. So, um, like I said, Troy, Troy was in OKC's front office during that time. So, you know, he's probably just doing him a solid, you know. Oh, okay, that makes sense, too.